What is going on? Welcome to VRML. That's right, it's onward. We're uh, we're getting down and dirty. Season 14. 14. Week 4 already. We get into it today. Bad company, bro. It's gonna be a good match. It's gonna be a good match. I'm excited for this. No couple of the guys playing on some of these teams, so I'm I'm excited to get the gameplay. It's how the heck are you guys? My name's Identity Crisis VR. If you don't already know, I'm, I'm gone for a little while. I had a little uh, surgery thing that I had to take care of, so I'm back in the saddle and I'm ready to rock. Cast on. Hope you're excited. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm dead. What is going on? Welcome to the chat. I'm going to do my best to keep up with the chat, keep up with predictions, all that good stuff. Free plays. I think I've got fixed and working again for you guys. We're going to have a good time. It's a. It's a uh, what what day is it? It's Friday. Friday today. This is a European team right now. So it's Friday evening for a lot of people playing right now. It's uh, it's a Friday afternoon for us people over here in the US. And uh, I don't know you, but I'm excited. I'm excited to get some rock in here. Uh, got a little, little show we're going to put together here for you. Take a look at the teams. Take a look at some uh, stats on the teams. Take a look at the bands we've got coming in. Season 14, we've got four bands, two bands per team coming in this season, instead of just the regular one band per team for a total of two. Um, but we're going to take four maps right off the top before we even get started and talk about but, um, Before we even do that, let's take a look at the team. Uh, Bad Company, been around since season 11. I think they skipped season 12, put a solid season 13 in, and here we are on season 14 for Bad Company. Uh, it looks like they've had um, they've had some roster changes throughout the uh, throughout their time. They've been around, like I said, for a, at least their third season active right now. Uh, started up in season eleven. They've had you know a number of people come and go. Happens with teams. Happens with teams. We've got a solid team for you lined up right now. I think English Heroes, their team captain, um, he's on a hiatus right now, which means that uh, Daddy Spartan VR. The co-captain is going to be leading the charge for Bad Company today. Uh, let's take a look at the other the other members they've got on the team. Don't have a full roster, so I'm thinking they're going to have either they're going to have what's left of the roster in here because they think they have a seven-man roster, or they're going to have a reservist in. So I'm, I'm thinking they're probably going to have what's left of the roster. So you're probably going to see on the field today. Excuse me, one second. They're going to have on the field today Blondie, 69, 69, my favourite numbers. Blue Lotus 2, Quintus, and uh, Duke Mello are the other members of the team, as well as Daddy Spartan, the uh, co-captain, who's been leading the charge over there for Bad Company. Uh, like I said, they've been around for a while, so they've got some stats under their belt. Um, if we take a look at uh, the, the most played map, Subway, their most played map with a 50% win ratio, 9 out of 18 games played, they've won. Um, me, personally, I love Subway. I'm going to start great at Subway. I just love the way it plays. It flows really nicely. I do love Subway. Um, the next the most played map by Bad Company is Suburbia. Uh, one of the original two guys. Um, seven wins out of 14 played maps. Again, 50% ratio. So, you know, Suburbia and and uh, Subway. A lot of close quarters in both of those maps. Which, um, so maybe they're liking more of that close quarters kind of stuff. Bizarre is they're like the third most played map. 12 times 8 times 1 of the 12 with a 67% win ratio on Bizarre, which is kind of a mid. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of mid, but there's a lot of QCB in, in, in Bizarre as well. A lot of um, alley clearing stuff Bizarre. I enjoy Bizarre. Too. Um, Cargo, they've played a bunch of times. You know, uh, Cargo's one of those could go either way, map. If you're playing a team that's very aggressive on a offense and defense, Cargo can turn into a real mess. <laughs> you thought I was going to say something. You turn into a real mess fast. Um... I'm not a lover of cargo. I like playing cargo in pubs just because it's quick, it's, you know. Uh, uh, but when you're talking about when you're talking about competition play right here, um, you, you're playing a team that is an aggressive offense and defense uh, play style. Up on cargo, uh, looks like they've got a 6% win ratio out of the 10 times they've played cargo. So, um, so Subway, Suburbia, Bizarre, top top three there. What bad companies? Take a look at Fortis. So Fortis. Um, coming in with their team captain, Special Ops. And it looks like their co-captain is Mr. Mop. And the rest of their team made up with Blue Sniffer. You may have seen him. He's one of our casters here on the VR. Uh, Arab, Electric, Theo Owl, and another one of the guys you may notice, Pippi. is also uh, part of the VRML over there. He's a caster and part of one of the mods, I believe, as well. So look out for those guys on the field we're playing today. But well, let's take a look at... Um, Here's the deal with uh, with Fortis. 
new team put together pretty much for the season. Not a lot of stats for them. These players have been around for a while. We don't have a lot of stats. Uh, they have this their first season as a team. These players have been, so they've been around for a while, so we don't have a lot. All I can tell you is what they've played so far this season, which isn't given us a lot of info. They've played Abandoned twice and lost both times. Um, they've played Arctic 1, 1-1. One, one. Cargo 1, 1-1. One, one, one. So, the only stats I've got, really, is Abandoned they hate, <laughs> and uh, the small maps Cargo and Arctic they love, because we have no stats, really, for this team. Um, which is unfortunate because these guys, are, like I said, they're all vets. We've got those no stats on players, guys. This stats on players. So uh, it's going to be interesting to find out where we go from here. Yeah, I, I got nothing. Um, just going by what I've got from from Fortis, I'm expecting maybe long range bands from Fortis and uh, close quarter uh, picks for them for map choices. Ugh. But without really any stats, it's so hard. It's so hard to decide what they're going to do. Um, just going on the very few stats we've got. Uh, abandoned, they lost twice, so I'm assuming they, they, they don't care for longer range stuff. And it looks like they crushed it on uh, on Arctic and Cargo the one time they played both bats. If I had to go by the stats in front of me, that would be my call. Long range band, short range picks. Um, but let's get down and maybe take a, a, a little gander on what we think might happen with them. Um, the bad company on bands and picks. Um, bad company, bands and picks. Let's go back to whoops, overalls. Bands and picks, bands and picks. So subway, suburbia, bizarre. So close quarter to mid range. Gosh. They play Arctic one, one Arctic one. Tough one. But, you know. If I was a betting man, I would say probably long-range bands for them as well, but we only have a couple of long-range maps. And you've got um, Snow Peak in there as well, you can throw in there. Um, it's kind of a mid-range, quarantine mid-range. Um, I don't know. We might be seeing all short-range maps tonight, if I was a betting man. And uh, the reason I don't bet is... Way off! Blizzard! What's going on? Welcome to the chat, my dude. Hope this is going to be an exciting game for you guys. But hey, that's that's where we're at. That's uh, that's what we're doing for right now. And let's take a look at those bands, shall we? Um, so to start off with, we're going to look at what Bad Company's thrown down as their double ban for this particular match up. So Bad Company are banning. Let's see, what have we got? What have we got? Can't get close. And Arctic. Okay, so uh, I got that part right. So it looks like, no I didn't, I thought they were going to do long range and play. No, I got that completely wrong, I thought they were going to play close range. They are banning their close range. So that is the closest, closest, closest close range stuff you can ban, potentially, out of all the maps that are available. Cargo and Arctic. Um, and as I discussed earlier, Cargo can, can be a real mess if, um, if you're up against a team that likes to push aggressively on it, offense and defense. Uh, but let's take a quick look, how we doing for time, we're doing good. Um, Let's take a look and see what uh, Ford has come in with. Ford. And Ford has come in with, look at that, those long ranges are off. That I did call. I got that. I usually got something. At least I got something. So it looks like long range, all the long, 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 long range, and all the short, short, short range stuff is a no-go today, I'm afraid, folks. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to get a subway. We're going to get a subway. subway. We're going to get a subway today, guys. Um, and uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It, um, it's going to be an interesting matchup. There's some, there's some absolute killers in quarters. Um, bad company have got a lot of, of um, a lot of time in game. Recorded. We don't have that. Before. Those guys, those guys are, are killers over there. It's going to be, going to be interesting. And I'm excited to find out what happens. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move this screen. In the last screen, and we're going to get to our game screen and see if we've got a lobby up yet, guys. Where do you think we're going? Where do you think we're going for um, round one? Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Where do you think we're going to go for round one? I'm I'm going to call Subway because I know a lot of those guys on Bad Company do enjoy Subway. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call Subway. Uh, let's do a quick refresh here and see if we've got a map up. Yeah, there we are. Yes. 
slide in here, get some stuff set up, and then we'll, we'll get you down, find out where we're going to go. Oh, no, I called it completely wrong. Oof, da. Guys, we are not, we are not going to subway map one, which actually surprises me where we are going. Map one, my guys, is not subway, but it is another S one. This one, look for it here, and it can go. We are going to, um, can you believe it? I think it is. Um, so uh, while they're loading into the lobby, I'm going to get some team names in here. We got, uh, uh, what's this? I do like that little play on word. Team names in there, we're ready to rock and roll. Oh. I'm fine, I can find it. Where the oh no. <laughs> the uh, the first OBJ guys is in the warehouse. This one can be a messy, messy objective to crash into. Let's um let's get a camera over to the warehouse here real quick. And then I'll get down to the game. Uh, a couple of cameras. A couple of cameras on the outside. You can get some. That, that's it. Uh, and I want to get a camera. What's everybody doing on this wonderful Friday afternoon stroke evening, depending on. You have a have a good day. Okay, we uh slowly but surely loaded into the lobby, so we're doing good there. I'm going to try and get that camera set up. Like that had to. No no we're uh Okay, that's better. I wanna get a camera inside the building. Beautiful! Okay, guys, um, while the uh, the team's loading into the lobbies, why don't we go down, take a look. Let's see. Take a look. Snow Peak. Um, so, Snow Peak's actually a really pretty map, guys. It's really pretty. I um, I do enjoy this map, uh, but it is long-ranging. ID's terrible at shots. But there's some close-quarter stuff in there, and believe it or not, we're going to close-quarter let score objective for our first objective of not just for the map, but for the match. And that is inside this here warehouse. Two entrances into the warehouse, one on the south and one on the west side of the out, uh, exterior of the building. But then if you go inside the warehouse, you have one on the uh, the east side here. It takes you into the tunnels and one on the north side, which also takes you into the tunnels. There's actually four entrances into the warehouse. And... Uh, I find the best way to attack this is have people coming in from at least three different uh, entrances. And then you can create some confusion on where the push is really coming from. Uh, you need a minimum of two, two entrances being pushed simultaneously. And that's the key to this objective. Is all this has to happen simultaneously. Because you have one person or a group of people coming through one door and not being backed up by the people coming through one of the other entrances it's just a matter of them getting picked. It has to all happen. It's all about making making this a confused little site in here. Um, throwing in some utilities, some smokes. Smokes doesn't give you just vision. It also distorts sound as well. So it's it's great for that. So if you can throw some smoke in there, um, it really will help you get into the building. Uh, uh, 203 smokes. And from what I remember now with the new rules, you can have two 203 launches now on a team, where before it was only one. So if you can get some 203 smoke in here, that's amazing. It looks like the lobby is slowly loading up. We've got Daddy Spartan, Quintus, Duke Mello, and Blue Lotus sitting over there. Full Bad Company and Glue Sniffer, Electric Special Ops, and Teo Owl over there for Fortis right now. So we're looking for one more for each each team member. We're uh, a couple of minutes past go time, but that's okay. We've got the 10-minute uh, leeway here before we have to start thinking about timeouts. 
make this happen. Rosie, where is he? Welcome to the chat, Rosie. How you doing? Miram VR, English hero. There he is. Team captain. Bad company. Slide in the chat. Making his presence known. Cheering on his team. I think we're just waiting for Blondie. Blondie was the last one that we needed here for bad company right now. And uh, I'm not sure who we have left over there. For we're waiting for the uh, fifth of both sides right now. Uh, oh, hang on. It looks like looks like we might be doing a four on four for a couple of rounds. Just got the note. Okay, now let me open you are ready to go. Yeah, it looks like they're doing a four on four. They're struggling to get that fifth in right now, so we might have a couple of rounds. Uh, whoop! Bash that camera again. Cool of a uh, four and four right now so it looks like this might yeah, oh saying that we just lost somebody from 40. not sure if it's tech issues or we're just doing a quick uh, restart um one thing they do have to do all team members now have to do a record have to be recording their footage and you're supposed to have the recording started before you enter the lobby i know our team always forgets that part and has to leave and come back <laughs> um new rules right now also is we have to rehost every map uh, from a caster standpoint, it's a pain in the backside because we have to get back into lobbies, reset lobbies up, rename them, the teams, blah, blah, blah. It's a pain in the backside, but we're making it work. We're making it work. Sri Lankan, what's going on, dude? How the heck are you? Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I'm excited to be back in the caster's chair and um, hopefully get some good footage for you. I think I've got the, uh, the replays working again for you guys, so it's going to be going to be a good day. It's a good day for cast. Look at this beautiful map. Let's just have a quick fly around while we're waiting for these guys. So, uh, single hanger over here. There's an objective in here that you will see as well in the back here. If we get to that one, who knows? There's quite a few objectives on here as well. Uh, all of these these towers are great for visuals, but all of this metalwork around the towers is penetrable. So, if somebody knows you're in there and, and you're you're not completely prone, or it doesn't matter if you're prone or not, you're getting shot. That's the end of it. Um, the double hanger up here is uh, another objective which would be down by the helo here um, this is a fun objective uh normally get a lot of pushes coming over from the west side and the lake is very open i don't see many, many people making lake crosses you, you've got some of these like boulders boulders or large people they push through the lake whatever they might be that's about all the coverage you've got in here the, um, the pillbox here is another great place. However, it's very well lit inside. So if you are in there, you are, you are popping. Popping, people do see you. But it is a great spot to get some get some intel across the lake for either of those two. So for either of these two here, objectives. Uh, but uh, if people know you're in there, you do stand out like a sore thumb. Another objective. This is a fun little objective to push. I do enjoy this objective here. Uh, it's basically on the corner here is where the objective will spit. Again, this entire building is penetrable. If you're defending within the building, um, you can get shot with all this good stuff. Uh, but it's a, it's a great one to uh, push. Not a great one to defend because there's not a lot of spaces on objective to defend from. Uh, it can really suck. Um, you normally find people play whoop, get this, uh, play at these Hescos right here. And then uh, you'll probably find somebody playing you know, up by the tunnel, the horseshoe tunnels as well then that and in the south corner by the garage you might find somebody either in the tower down by these hescos here wait for a garage push this garage which will take us through to our other objective which is not one of my favorites i hate the tunnel tunnel sucks so if you come push through here which is a push that you'll see marsoc make on this quite regularly Maybe. Maybe. Let's go, uh, we've got a four and four. Everybody's back, it looks like. Hopefully we get this uh, puppy started up here pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, this push is horrible. Like, if you come through here, you might have somebody hiding behind this little uh, shelving thing here. I hear, I hear beeps. I hear beeps, guys. We are off. Round one. Let's go. Get excited. <laughs> there's glue sniffer there's special ups there's t there's electric we're doing a four on four guys they're going to get their spots 
locked down here in the warehouse to find out if they can defend with only four men. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Let's jump over to Spartan. Spartan making the push. Does he uh, Does he have anybody with him? It looks like Mello. Duke Mello is making the push with Spartan right now over here on the east side, coming out of the garage. And where are the other guys? Looks like the other guys are going to push through the tunnels. Through the tunnels. It looks like Quintus may be losing the, leading the charge with Blue Lotus through the tunnels right now. This is... um. This is getting back to what we spoke to about earlier. It looks like we're going to do a two-on-two -two for a two-entrance push. Uh, it looks like Blue uh, Blue Lotus and Clintus are going to make the, the tunnel push with uh, Spartan and... Uh, oops. Spartan making the... Oh, it looks like he's coming through the... That's interesting. Did these guys split up? Oh, there he is. There's Mello right there. Looks like we're going to do a double through the tunnel. Could be interesting. Let's jump over and find out what we ended up doing for a did I just pop that wall? Shit, interesting. For a defense here, guys. But we have two in the actual objective area. Uh, special ops in the tunnels, and it looked like we had glue sniffer on the outside of the building. It doesn't look like glue's going to be making any contact on the outside of the building with the entire Marsoc team coming through the tunnels. Uh, it looks like we had come through main tunnel, and then uh, Spartan and Mellow coming through, coming through the horseshoe end of the tunnels here. Let's, uh, let's go and take a look and see what Quintus is up to. They're waiting, they're waiting to see if uh, Bordis is going to get bushy. Nothing happening at all down this corridor right yet. And maybe they're waiting for the sync up to come in for Spartan and Nello as well. Very possible that they're waiting to sync up. I've not seen anybody pull a tablet yet, so I'm not sure if they really know if they're synced or not. Of course, we've not been on the people the entire time. I think that they're, they're concerned about about an aggressive Fortis right now because they're, they're pushed up. It looks like maybe we know our first engagement might be with Special Ops here in the tunnels with uh, Spartan here and Mellow. Special Ops is going to be holding down that first angle by the looks of Right here. It's going to be a matter of... Oh, C4 somewhere, guys. C4, he has a clacker in his hand. There it is. There's a C4 on the back of that crate. So he's waiting to hear for footsteps. Um, he'll probably actually wait for him to come around this corner before he detonates that C4. Will Spartan even be aware that there's a potential of a C4 sitting, waiting for Jarvis, are you doing my guy? Steve? Good to see you all in chat. I'm not sure. I just heard some uh, some pops from, from Spartan pulling in something. And I'm not sure if that, that the audio would have got to special ops or not. He backed off from this entrance. Very interesting. I was I was hoping hoping that maybe let's throw a camera down there. That maybe we were gonna get that push as I wanted. Or detonation. We're down to two minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. They need to make a decision on if they're going to make this push or not. Spartan's going back to it. Here it comes, guys. Spartan's coming back to the uh, back to that push that he originally started. He's coming in crawling, trying not to make any, any noise. Here he comes, guys. Spartan making the push down here slowly. Special Ops listening intensively. Anything to make, make a pop. All Spartan's got to do is make the wrong noise. And it's all over. The unfire does come out, but I'm not going to go to it quite yet because I want to see the outcome of this C4. Will the C4 get him? Oh no, and here comes Mello. Oh no, Blue Lotus takes Clinton down. Oh, revives. Here he comes, Cun. Quiet, quiet. Spartan being super quiet. Will he get it? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Will Clinton get this? Oh my god, he got him! Daddy Spartan gets special up! C4 out of play! What a great play there from Spartan! Oh my word! Mellow should be backing up Spartan now. I want to jump over to that other gun play. Uh, it looks like we lost one, and that special up is the only one out of play. We did have a friendly down there. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. We did have a friendly down, but we're okay. We're back. I think that was a utility... It looks like Spartan making the crash in. Spartan crashes in. I think 
Glue is now alerted that there's something going over. It's Spartan's in the building. Flash comes out. That catches Spartan beautifully. And Blue's never get to kill. Electric kills Blue Lotus. And that's it. Game over. Wow. First point of Fortis. First point of Fortis. Nice job. That was a... That was a nice little cleanup by Fortis there. And uh, some amazing plays by uh, by Spartan. That was, that was impressive. That was impressive. He snuck all the way down there. Was able to get able to get that kill this is a, this is a, let's be honest with each other right now this is a tough objective to get into as as a, an attacking team as a mark not easy not easy um, however i think it, it would be easy with five however uh, with the right utility usage and the right um push Simultaneous push, it is very possible to get cash. I've seen that happen. Um, I've been uh, even even double even here. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I love my game. Um, so it, it, it is it is possible to cap here. I've seen it happen. Um, I've been part of caps that have happened here, but it, it does come down to how you attack. It has to all happen together. Again, I felt like Spartan was attacking. And nothing was happening simultaneously with the rest of his team. However, they were dropping like five, unfortunately. Uh, but it's, again, it's a half, half the deck. Half. So all, all you really have to do is, as the bulk members, is really hold it down. You just have to cover all your entrances. There's four entrances. And you have four guys. So as long as you've got those entrances covered, you know if somebody's coming in, what's going to happen? Go down. Count two. Count two. Ooh, shaka -laka. Let's see what these guys are going to do to defend. And then we'll jam on over to our fourth team. Hackers. Down there. Um, the other lap side. Yeah, no rockets. Watch on that doorway. Looks yeah. like they're going to do the, uh, the doorway watch. Kind of like the go-to defense on this one, guys. Like Spartan's taking a tunnel. Mallow and Lotus are staying in objective building. And looks like we're going to pretty much all of them staying in objective building. Okay, looks like they're already in the tunnels, guys. There is no waiting around. Gosh, I thought we had a little time here. Glue Sniffer and T pushing tunnels right now. They're already in the tunnels. There was no hanging on right here. They're making a push through the tunnels. They're taking the same kind of approach that Bad Company did, doing the, the tunnel pushes. So it looks like they're probably going to start putting their... Ow, just having a good old whistle. Here. Gonna be getting close. Oh, it looks like they're just using the tunnel maybe to get to the exterior. So they pushed all the way through that, that east tunnel. Get to the exterior, maybe to get to that, uh, that west door, exterior door. To the utility. Let's flip over to the other two right now and see what they're up to. They're going to be able to make this push in here. Electric making the initial push. Let's see if he can get around the corner without alerting this Danny Spark. Whereas making the footsteps, I can hear him. Spark. It's Spartan to wear. Oh, nice C4 kill by Danny Spartan VR. Comes around and gets it. Other shot and special ops. Just down special ops. Comes in for the... Finish him off with a tar 21. What a play there by Danny Spartan. Wow. Let's see if we can get a replay to work. Play it. Please play the replay. Oh, awesome. There it is. First C4 kill. And uh, all of a sudden, there's only two Fortis members left on the field of play. With uh, Glee Smither and T, and they're out on the on the west side here. Great play there by Spartan, and uh, the footsteps gave it all away. Nice C4 play. Let's see, utility being thrown out by Glue. Flash in the corner, there is nobody here to catch. Lots of gunfire, pre-fire coming through the door right here. Utility being thrown in, nice nade. Nade takes down Blue Lotus. Nice nade there by Glue Sniffer. More utility, all the smoke being thrown, a couple of flashes, and T-Owl is in the building. T-Owl takes down Clintus. 
finishes off Blue. Oh, no. Daddy takes out T. Leaving one man left. Blue Sniffer trying to push through the same door. He's in the building using that smoke as not just a visual, but audio. Who takes down Mello? And it's a one-on-one, -on -one, guys. Who's going to win the battle? Blue Sniffer just pre-firing all the angles right now, trying to get a shot on a Daddy Spartan. The smoke's really not helping him here too awful much. Will he be able to get the shots on a Spartan? Will Spartan be able to get the shots on his Blue Sniffer? Who's going to know? But it's coming soon. We've got plenty of time. These guys can do this all day. It doesn't really matter who's got enough ammo at this point. Smartan doing the, doing the, 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 the right thing. He's hugging that C4 right now. Oh, see, hugging the objective right now. Blue's just pre-firing the angles. Oh, <laughs> Spartan's enjoying it. Clue's not uh, not baiting it. Oh, 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 oh. That flash, unfortunate. Did it catch him? Who just popped out of the building. Nice shot down by Clue Sniffer. Finishing up the round, putting another point on the board for Fortes. Well done. What a gunfight, guys. What a gunfight. Flash comes in, did catch Clue. He gets out of the building to, uh, to get out of the way, but turns around and gets a flick shot on the Spartan. Headshot, taking him down, taking a round. Well done. Wow! God, I knew this was going to be an exciting match to pick up, my guys. That, that was incredible. Nice job. Nice job, both teams. Spartan really showing his work right there. One-on-one. Um, -on -one. Also having a good old chuckle. And uh, where are we going next? Where are we going next? We're going to... Yes, we are. We're going to single one. Let's hang on right here. This is a fun little objective. I'm sure we should be fun. Um, um, so we're going North Hangar is the next one we're going to be hitting. I'm sure they're going to be uh, trying to get some strats on the board and seeing if we can uh, get a round back. Bad company need to get a round back. This is their map pit. Right now they're 2 in the hole on their map pit. Oh, predictions. Let's see if I can get predictions up for you guys real quick. Real quick bit. Who's going to win this match? Predictions are up, guys. Make your predictions. And we're going to go down and get next round in. Round three. And false start! <laughs> false start! Gosh. Gosh. Okay. Okay, well, we're here now. Here we are. Um, Looks like we may have had a false start. Uh, looks like Blondie's in. We've got a five-man in. And uh, for bad company, uh, only still four for Fortis right now. Blondie's just slid her way into the lobby, so we do have five men up right now. For bad company. That camera safe. Excellent. So, yeah, this is a tough one. You need to keep eyes on the valley here over in the north. You might find a push over to the, the, uh, the mid side here for the uh, sniper tower to get angles down. You gotta watch out for the pillbox, bunker, whatever you want to call it down here, uh, which gets some great, uh, some great intel for the opposing attacking team. Uh, defense. I've seen this used as a defense spot right here because the the black Volk uniforms blend in with these barrels very well. I've seen this area used as a defense spot. Uh, also on the back side here as well. Trying to just peek over the top here and get some intel. You've got to remember, the stuff is penetrable, so you can get shot through that. Just like the stuff around the towers. Uh, that metal work is all penetrable. So if you are here, you can get shot from there. But it, it's good visual um, cover. That's it. Hopefully everybody's having a break. I do some good stuff. Mark my extra store. Chilled out. It's Breakfast. Fridays is my day off, which is why I was able to pick this uh, amazing game up, European game. I'm able to pick these up more often than not on Fridays and Sundays, uh, which it actually works out really well because Fridays and Sundays are my down days. 
could work. It'd be my kind of vibe. So now with the uh, with the the quest one being dropped, unfortunately, uh, for uh, for DPI and Oculus, mainly Oculus. Maybe we'll see some visual upgrades now that they can work on the Quest 2 platform a lot more. We've all seen what the Quest 2 is. Seen Red Matter and Red Matter 2. So um, I'm expecting to see in the next, uh, probably, it's probably going to be six, seven months before we start seeing it. Um, it was kind of dropped in their lap when Meta said, hey, we're no longer supporting the, uh, the Quest anymore. So uh, DPI probably just started now to do some development for Quest 2's graphical upgrade support, which means that the people who play will get to and I know they'll be happy. Nope, nope, fake beeps. Uh, looks like we still have five on four. I don't know if we're trying to get a fifth in. Oh, looks like Fortis is taking a timeout, guys. Timeout for Fortis! I will, um... I think I'll put you guys on a quick break. There might be a few breaks today, guys. Uh, let's just get back to the uh, full board. There may be a few breaks today just because of map changing and all that other stuff. Sometimes it's easy just to go on a quick couple of minute break to do when they change maps. We have to rehost, I have to get back in the lobby and reset up and all that good stuff. So there might be a, 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 a few quick little breaks that we might hit today, but there won't be long ones. Unless we have some massive tech problem there should be any really long breaks today um i'm going to let uh let them know i suppose i should spell good right now. just let them know that we're good um we're gonna we're gonna hang out here for a little bit then we're gonna do a quick intermission and pull their time out i think they're trying to get their fifth player in guys so we have five right now for bad company with one we sliding in there. Um, we're waiting for the fifth person to shop for us. They are taking their time out for that now. So I'm going to send you guys to a quick intermission. We'll be back soon. Don't go anywhere. There's so much more exciting stuff.
okay nobody gave me a heads up it looks like um they're starting they're going guys so we we're going to skip the old uh uh, skip the scoreboard, go straight to the game because we want to miss any of the action. Looks like uh, Fortis are back in the game there. That was their, their time up out. Couldn't get their fifth in, so they're going to play with their four and see if they can do this. So this is round four, guys, here down on the North Hangar, single North Hangar, defending this. Looks like Owl has got the objective held down. They've got a, a, an aggressive push out. The special ops and glue sniff are taking the front line of the... Uh, the area here one looks like glue is he inside the building looks like he's inside that building which is impenetrable and special has the uh sand bunker there with electric on the back side let's go and take a look and see what's going on with these guys let's go take a look at blondie blondie's not doing okay being very quiet looks like blondie's rocking around with spartan here taking their time Holding, holding points. It looks like Duke is inside the bunker right now. Like I said, you can get some great intel from the bunker, but these lights, it just make you pop. Big time. Not too sure if he's able to see anything over there. Electric's on the very back side of the, uh, the hangar back there, so... Not too sure. Looks like Clinton's got some eyes on something over here on the southwest side of the map he may have caught he may have caught eyes of electric on the back side over there i think that's who he's shooting at is electric on the back side nothing's making contact but hey clinton's got bullets may as well use them right so all of this right now is giving some great audio coverage for the rest of the team mind you the lmg is a great audio blocker that's one whole box mag down for Clinton already. Let's go over and check out Spartan. Spartan over here with Blondie pushed up to the Hesco's. More LMG gunfire coming out from Clint over there. I'm not too sure if he's, he's if he's if he's actually trying to hit something or if he's just trying to get some audio coverage. Looks like shots came back at Clintus there from Electric from the backside. I'm not too sure what their next push is because they're right on the pinnacle of, of glue sniff there being able to hear these audio cues from blondie and daddy spartan right now there's all that gunfire again great audio coverage like i said but they're not really taking advantage of it oh nice nade unfortunately not going to make contact with anybody but that tells me that glue sniffer knows that there is something coming from that direction. There would have been no other reason to have thrown that nade there. So he heard something. Electric takes Clint down. Uh, so Clint, uh, Clint's overwatch fire really didn't pay off. Nobody moved off of the audio cue for it to, to try and move up there a little bit. And all he did really is give away his location so Electric could home in. Art giving out some call outs right now, which I am like 90% sure Blue Sniffer probably could hear some of that from his location. Blue's in the building down here. I'm not too sure if he heard any of it. It looks like Blue Lotus has now joined up with the two down, down here in the uh, north. It looks like all four of them are coming in here from the north side now. Come on, Blondie. Make your dreams come true. Blondie being backed up by Blue Lotus. I'm not too sure if they know that somebody's down in there. Oh, nice shot from Al! All the way across there. Al goes down, and uh, Duke takes down Electric on the backside. Spartan making the push. Over to the west side of the bunker. Now they've taken Electric out of the back side. Spartan should be able to sneak around the back here. Spartan is known for capping. He's a bit of a quick capper as well. So it's possible that Spartan, with the right coverage from the front, if he can clear out, uh, if he can clear an owl up here on the back side of the hangar, he's in a great spot to cap because the last two guys, if owl goes down, 
The last two guys that were out may have an angle on Spartan. Did he see anything through that door? No, he did not. Um, are a long way away from the OBJ. They're all the way up the front. Not sure Spartan's going to be able to get... He obviously does not know that uh, the Owl is there. Blue Sniffer takes down Mello. Those two guys left up there. We've got to, Actually, we only have two left. Spartan and Blondie, I think, is the other one that's left right now. Yeah, so Blondie needs to be decoy to keep those guys... Don't get too peaky. She does not need to go down. But if, if Blondie... Oh, no. Blondie's making a, making a push. No! I didn't get over there in time. Blondie goes down. Leaving Spartan alone. Spartan needs to take out Owl. And Owl, look how dark that corner is where Owl is. Spartan does not have a clue. But he's doing his, his slinky, slinky. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Tries to get the shots. Does get the shots on him. Now, if he can get in here and cap real quick before these guys are crashing back. Here they come. They're crashing back. And he's capping right now. Numbers being punched in by Spartan. He did get back in there and gets the cap. Excellent work, Spartan. Getting the job done. Wow. There it is. Spartan did what we thought he was going to do. Is he just needed to take out Owl on the backside there. The other two guys were so far away from the objective. Um, Spartan had all the time in the world to punch numbers in. And that was after losing Blondie. He was the last man on the backside. Excellent work, Spartan. Well played to uh put two kicks on the board for those guys well played to bad company uh, for that push which even stuff up guys it's a two on two map one two look at flippity floppy around and see what they can do to defend this and uh we still we still got only four members of fortis in the playing field right now so um they did take one time out already uh, to try and get that fifth guy in and unfortunately it's not working out for them they may have to continue to play through this map for a five. Wow, that was that was cool. That was cool. I like uh, I like that what they did there. I'm not too sure if that was planned, but it worked. Hey, sometimes the best plays are the unplanned plays. Hey, hey let's just let's just do this and see what happens. Uh, and I can see Spark doing that. He's like, I'm just gonna do this. Great plays there. Um, the downfall for Fortis there was only having one man left on objective. And look how far away these guys were up, all the way up here. All the way up here. That is a long way to get back to the objective when your man on objective is dead. Which makes you think, oh god, there's somebody already is a bad guy. Right? Bye, just go. Go, go, go! Now let's take a look at the defense real quick, and then we're going to push over to the offense. Oh, yes. See what the uh, orders are going to do on their offensive version. Spartan's in high spirits, surprisingly enough. <laughs> okay, let's just see what they're going to pan out. Looks like we're going to have Blue Lotus and Blondie in the objective building. Spartan, where the heck did Spartan push out to? Oh, Spartan taking that corner we talked about earlier. Um... And it looks like we've got Clintus. Clintus pushing out hard onto the uh, onto the hilltop here. Interesting. And then uh, Duke Mello in that same spot that we had uh, defenders earlier. Let's jump over to our guys. Let's take a look at Glue right now. Blue Sniffer and Owl making a push down here in the the midsection from the south. If they can get any get any vision over to the backside of the the bunker is what they're trying to do see if they can pick anybody from the back side of the bunker bunker and then they just need to worry about the front side looks like they're not the bunker the uh oh nice shot from clintus on the owl holy schmoly that was a long shot look at that clintus actually making great use of that elevated spot back side of the hangar is what i was trying to say guys sorry about that they're trying to get into the bunker Get eyes on the back side of the hangar. However, ID. However, um, Clintus has got great visuals over here. Look at those lasers bouncing over here. Now I've actually turned them off. Talk about this. <laughs> yeah, oh, there comes the lasers bouncing over on a glue sniffer. The glue sniffer gets a kill on a Clintus. Nice shots, glue. Now he's got visuals from the bunker. Maybe he can get eyes on... Come on, boys. 
Maybe you can get eyes on uh, on Spartan on the back there. Did he already exit the bunker? Yeah, he already exited the bunker. He said, not today, bunker. I am not using you. Just checking to make sure there's nobody else pushed out. The Quintus one. That was, a, that was a good pick. Getting Quintus out of there really opens up this south, south push here. Uh, let's just find out where our other guys are. Let's take a look at Electric. Electric's making a nice, nice little push up here on the north side of the lake. Look at this. We got we got Electric and Special Ops, the captain of the team, with Waters. Look at this north push on the lake. This is beautiful right now. Then if they can clear out Spartan, that gives them control of the back side of the of the hang. Too sure Spartan's hearing any of this noise right now, guys. Spartan did just flash that, so he must have heard something. Nice smoke placement. Basically on top of where Spartan was. Spartan did rotate back to the hangar. Trying to make a push in on the utility. Special Ops taking shots through. Taking shots through all of these areas are, are penetrable. Electric taking down Blondie. Oh, no, Electric taking down Special Ops! Electric then shoots Daddy Spartan in the face as he's pushing into the back of the building. And uh, Blue takes him out. And we have one attacker left. That's Blue Sniffer here. Nice shot there by Glue. I don't know if we were able to catch that real quick on the replay. But that, uh, that was a quick flick there by Glue. Beautiful. Blue here on the south side of the... Uh, the hangers. He's going to be able to make that push up. That's a replace work, isn't it? So we've got a one on one. Blue Lotus trying to hold down. And we've got glue here is, is prodding and poking at the objective area. Can he make it up there? I, I don't I don't foresee a cap coming out. It's gonna be, you know, whoever's gonna get that final shot off here. Yeah. Blue slowly but surely trying to clear out the areas. He's clearing out all the areas he expects people to be. Um making some noise. Lotus is hearing this. So all Lotus has to do is hold it down for a minute and twenty seconds. Um, you know darn well that Glue Sniffer is not gonna allow it to go time. He's gonna make a push here sooner or later. This could be... Is he going to try and push through the east side of this? Or is he going to go to the west side? Resting on where he's going from. Taking wide. Taking it wide. Trying to, trying to get angles on all the entrances. Notice that he's just trying to get... He hasn't really... Too much from the front, but he's very open at the front. Again, he's making making some noise, so Lotus is hearing this. He's got 30 seconds. The push is coming, guys. The push is coming. Here it comes. And it's going to be a matter who gets a kill right here. Oh! Lotus gets a headshot! Oh! I thought, I thought, I thought he had that. I thought Clue had that. Lotus gets a headshot. Put the point on the board for our home team bad company. Holy cow! I thought, I'm not gonna lie, I thought Blue Sniffer had that wrapped. Wrapped up like a Christmas present, guys. Um, wow. Wow! No shooting there at the end. Uh, for Blue. Nice job. As, uh, he literally snapped around. He had to snap. He was looking one way. He had to snap that to get that shot. And um, it was a headshot because it was an instant kill. Because no glue was shooting at him. And glue must have missed his first couple of shots that gave uh, gave glue enough time to get that snap around and get that headshot off. It, I think even he was excited about it. I don't know if you heard him go, Woo! I think he even spotted got the shot, to be honest with you. Crazy! I think we're off to uh off to that uh that shack, the love shack. 
love Shaq, but love Skanky Phillips. Uh, this is a crazy objective we talked about earlier as well. That uh, camera's not up there. This objective is one of those objectives that is not the easiest to defend. You can't really be on objective, and if you are, you're really risking it all because the entire building, the entire building here, penetrated. If you are trying to trying to defend it from the building, you need you, you need to be at least at least crouched in here. Get me through the door, and you need to use these barrels. And the barrels are not penetrable. You kind of need the barrels to cover. Now, like this nice little area here behind this barrel, but now your back is completely not playing guys. So it's tough. But we'll get down there next round. <laughs> Will we go to a round seven decider? Who's gonna take this? Let's just find out what uh Fortis defense is gonna look like. And it looks like uh that was a false start. Do we have somebody drop? Oh look, look guys, we got our fifth in. Tipic is finally making a show. Uh, here, but we did get a false start. False start. And it looks like typically slowed in. Let's try that again. Welcome to round six. <laughs> uh, let's do that again. Take two. And we've got a five-man team in now for Fortis, so it's going to get real now, guys. Typic is in here. Oh, no. Gloostiff is a little upset about uh, them not taking this map already. Nice comeback from uh, from uh, Bad Company with that cap, guys. And this is what I was talking about. Wide push out, hard to defend. Do you have to defend like in a big circle from this? Uh, what makes it, it makes it a very capital objective if they can start taking out people closer to the uh, to the circle. If you take a look at this, you can see they've created like a circle around the objective, but from a distance. It looks like we've got a mass up push coming from the tunnel, guys. From the tunnel, checking the. Ooh. Already got gunfire coming out here from the uh, from the garage. Spartan's already engaging. Like a rusher. That was a grenade. Unfortunately, that's got to make contact with anybody. Spartan does take down glue sniffer. Spartan has turned into an absolute monster in this uh, in this map. Daddy Spartan six kills. He's going to need a back rub after this. We do have another to worry about down the bottom here with Special Ops still at the entrance into the parking garage here. We've got a three-man push with Blondie, Lotus, and Daddy Spartan here at the garage. With two others, it looks like taking the horseshoe. I have to flip over to the horseshoe here soon and find out what's going on over there, but it looks like we're going to get some action here in the garage shortly. Sure, Special Ops is, is not going to allow anybody out of here. Anytime soon, lasers bouncing through the garage entrance. It's the one. This looks like just special ops have got eyes on this. It looks like Blue Lotus is looking for utility. I'm going to peek this corner and see if you can see anybody up there in the tower. Doesn't see anybody. People like to hide up in that tower and just not make a noise and wait for you to pass and shoot you in the back. But... Oh, Blue Lotus be able to get. Special Ops out of the equation. Be a tough one. Get the angle of Special Ops here. So just follow along with Blue Lotus to find out what's going to happen. Slowly making its way up to the Tesco's. Gives me lots of cover. Nice grenade! How that protected Special Ops is beyond me. Where is Special Ops hiding? Oh, he's on the other side of the Hesco's. Lucky man. That was a nice grenade placement, but unfortunately it didn't cover Blondie making the push up. Let's follow and see if Blondie can get the kill here. Uh, re oh, yeah, that's a grenade coming back. That didn't uh, that didn't cover. Electra taking out Nuke. Blondie making the push up here. Nice shots there from Blondie taking out Special. Well done, Blondie. Excellent work making the push. Daddy Spark taking Electric out, and all of a sudden we're three on two. Tippic coming in and taking Blue out. They now know that uh, Tippic is just around this corner. Who's going to get the kill on Tippic? They're lining up for this shot, though. Tippic re uh, repositioned himself, rotating out of there, knowing that his position has been compromised. So Spartan can't get the line on him, and nor can Blondie. Blondie's making the push up. Blondie might get uh, shots on the owl. Blondie gets some great shots under owl there. Now leaving Tippic last man standing. Does take shots at Blondie. Nothing connects. 
Tippic, last man standing, does take down Tippic. Now we're one on one. Tippic versus Daddy Spartan. Spartan's making a rotation around on the backside here. Who's going to get the shots? Um, nice shooting there by Spartan, finishing up the map. 4 2. Well done. Wow. Who expected that? I mean, let's be honest. Who expected that? When we started this map, it wasn't going well for Bad Company. But hey, they did it. They put another point on the board. Finished up map one. Nice job. Nice job, Bad Company. Well done. Some great shooting there from everybody. Um, Clint's got some great shots off. Um, Blondie got some great shots off. Tippett trying to hold it down there at the end there. Um, some great shooting from everybody on this map. Uh, but that's it. Where are we off to next? Thing. Um, I think we've got a rehost. Unless they've dropped that rule, I think we have to rehost each man. Everybody's still in the lobby right now. So, nothing to discord. So, um, but I sure that we still have it really hate but he's still in the lobby so wow that was impressive that was an impressive comeback by bad company there i thought quarters had that in the bag. Bag. i'm gonna tell you now blue's gonna come so. the first thing he said at the beginning of that last round was if we beep lose this now i'm going to kick all of your beep Hey guys, uh, I guess we're not rehosting. We're okay, my favourite map, so I don't care. I, I don't like. Bye bye. The subway. Oh, love it, loves it. Let's uh, let's get some names in. Uh, okay. Uh, my favorite map. I love Subway, guys. I love Subway. I just love the way it flows. It's, just, it's just a really nice map. Um, enjoy playing it. I enjoy casting it. I enjoy watching people play it. I just, I just I don't like that. Looks like we've got Chinatown. Okay, camera over Chinatown. What the? Um, while we're at it, let's 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 get down. Let's get down here on the board. And while I've got time, I'm gonna put the first camera down on main platform. Bump that. So I can get down there. Oh yeah, we're setting this up like a chance right now. A chance. Tell you what, let's stick a camera forward down in the basement. Back. Let me put cameras. Any camera we don't have is kind of like the. Um, the We're off, guys. Let's get there. Round one, Subway. My day. Let's see what the defense is going to happen first for our bad company, guys. And then we're going to jump over the borders and find out what the push is going to happen. Blondie giving out orders. Do this. Do this. Do that. Do the other thing. Do all the things. Blondie giving out orders. Telling people where to go. And looks like we've got a, we've got a, we've got a push coming in. We've got to get to really fast there, guys. Uh, so we're going to jump over straight away to our guys over in Fordis because they're already up on the uh, in the street level. It looks like Blue Sniffer is going to make the first interaction with Spartan here. Oh, bad utility. Bad utility! Uh, gives away the push. It's, it's Spartan's here in the conversations here. They need to clear Spartan out before they can come around here. We do have... Special Ops here as well. Electric taking down Clintus there on the uh, 
Another corner alley. Nice grenade. Take Spartan down from Special Ops. That was beautiful. Did we get that on a replay? That means he's going to go finish off Spartan. Tippett putting the shots in on Spartan. Smoke already been played down onto the down onto the entrance into the tiny town objective. More smoke coming in. Oh, shot coming in from Duke down on Tau. Tau? Tau. Maybe I've been saying that wrong all this time, but I prefer it out. Electric backing off. Lovely on the backside. She's like in the smoke right now. Uh, hopefully she doesn't get... Oh, this could be a cap here, guys. Look at these guys pushing down into the smoke. All they need to do is maybe get a crawler in here. Electric takes down Duke, and that's actually a trade. Blue Lotus takes down Tippic. Tippic getting back up by Glue Sniffer. They, uh, they need to make use of this smoke before it's all gone. Here he comes. Capping right there. Special Ops, can he get the numbers in? Can he make it happen? Can it be an ID cap? Can it be a mono cap? Can it be a cap? It cannot be a cap. Blundy denies him through the smoke. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, should have been a cap. Unfortunately, was not. The smoke is gone. The opportunity is over. Tippic and uh, Glue Sniffer are the last man standing on our Fordist team to make this push. I, I take that back. Tippic is dead, thanks to Blue Lotus. Leaving Glue Sniffer on his lonesome, uh, up in the corner, crying, crying in his tea. Wait for the push to come around that corner to try and get uh, any kind of on farm on people but it's not coming we've got a two on one in favor of bad company and who have we got left over there blue lotus and blondie on the defense all they're going to do is hold down the two entrances that they need to worry about they know that he's here unless he makes a huge rotation he's got time to do this he could make the huge rotation to go to north stairs he's got three minutes he's got all the time in the world um because Blue Lotus and Blondie, all they're worried about are the two entrances into Chinatown uh, from Porn Alley and from the Horseshoe here, because that's where they last uh, had encounters with Glue Sniffer. So it's, it's, I'm not too sure how this is going to go down. Two minutes and 40 seconds. He needs to make a decision if he's going to make that long rotation or not. Now's the time to do it if you're going to do it. Uh, if you leave it much longer, it's not going to have enough time to make the rotation and make a play out of it. He's just sitting here. Blue, my dude. You need to make it. You need to make a decision. Unless he's going to do that last push, last craze push. You know, some teams get off on that. Like to do that last, like 30, 40 second push. And hopefully, the other team's panicking so much they make mistakes. Oh, and he's going to run right into the line of fire of Blue Lotus. How he survived that is beyond me. He now knows roughly where Blue Lotus is. Utility comes in. That flash doesn't catch anybody because it bounced off the wall, unfortunately. He keeps pushing that same angle. It's not going to work out for him, and it doesn't. Blue Lotus gets a kill, putting a point on the board for our boys over on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Wow. That was going, like, beautifully for Portis. And then it just seemed to all fall apart there. Um, they weren't pushing the smoke as early as they should have been. I mean, saying that, you know, it's really hard to make judgment calls from up in the sky here in the cast of Bob. Um, different when you're down on the map and your adrenaline's pumping, your heart's pumping. Um, you're not sure if you should make that push. You're going to get killed doing that. Um, the, the sound is different when you're on the map, so you can hear the, the, the whiz of the bullets. And you know that it's not safe to move just then. You know, it's different. Then it is sitting up here making judgment. Um, yeah. So what I do need to do is really go to the next map. I need to get the out for one. I bought us at a 0% on the prediction for map one. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of blown away. I'm blown away. Let's get a map two prediction up, guys. I uh, I thought we would have a little bit more of a sway on that. Map two. Who's going to win map two? Is it going to be bad? Or is it going to be good? Good. Got it right. I think. Um, get the words right. Okay. 
Everything from pictures up, guys. Get your channel points, slam them down on the table of love, and find out. Let's, uh, let's find out what our Fortis defense have got in line for us. Let's get over there quick. Uh, you can see a C4 on Tippic. Let's see what uh, what he's going to do with that. So they're having a little gunplay right now. Getting the old pistol uh, pistol action out of the way. I'm going to follow along with Tippic real quick because I want to know what he's going to do with that C4. Ooh, a little low. A little low. Fire already coming out. Gunfight. Electric taking down Clinton. Electric taking down Blood Blondie on a double. Beautiful. Quick push. Got down Spartan trying to push the same. Special ops taking down Jim Mellon. And it looks like Fortis are really crushing this right now. Uh, we've got a five on two. Five on two. The electric holding down the porn alley entrance. Taking down Spartan. Beautiful shots there. Excellent work there by Electric. Eliminating three right out of the gate. Can he come on the backside here and get this last shot on the Blue Lotus? No, nope, Blue Lotus takes him down. And the flanker is dead. And unfortunately, Blue Lotus is now on his own. Blue Lotus uh, peeking corners, refiring corners. Not too sure if they know they're on their own. You would assume so at this point. It looks like Special Ops is making the push up on the rotation. Being that they have five up, they can, they can afford to do it. Nice shot there from Blue Lotus, clearing out Special Up. He is, in fact, just down, though. Let's get the confirm. Nice job, nice job. Now, where's he going to rotate to? He's got all the time in the world. Four minutes and 40. Really? <laughs> Barely two minutes into the game, and we're one on three. We were a one on five there for the longest time. Not too sure what uh, what Blue's going to do for this. You think they're uh, going to rotate all the way back round? If it was me, I'd take south stairs and go all the way over to the north stairs. Get some utility figured out, yeah? Just picked up an LMG. Good call. Good call. Going to need all the bullets. One on three. Four minutes on the clock. Got plenty of time to do the, uh, the rotation like we were just talking about. If it was me, I'd take south stairs, go all the way under um, to the north stairs and uh, change it up. Because right now... This is where all of the pushes come from. Unfortunately, that smoke landed on the roof, I think. Tippic's in a great spot just to clear this out. I think a rotation to North Stairs may have been the, the better call here, but hey, like I said, we're up. What do we Blue Lotus is making footsteps, so Tippic is going to start hearing this any second now. He's probably, probably going to stay in tight. Blue's got his lasers cool over on that corner, but he does make it down to the uh, little alcove. That's a very, very meta spot. Drops being fired by Blue Lotus. I'm not sure if that was a dead spot. Oh, he was trying to. He was trying to take out that C4 there, guys. And Tippic heard the shots and detonated the C4. Now Tippic is going to rely on gunplay. The C4 didn't take him out. It's gonna be this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. The blue lotus is now stuck in the alcove. Which means that uh he got nowhere to go from here. Tippic is tucked in tight over there. I mean, you can see how tucked in he is in that corner. So Blue Lotus is not gonna get a decent angle on him until he's almost on top of him. He's hearing glue sniffer in the back there. I'm going to check to make sure if there's anybody coming in the back. Is that glue sniffer or blue lotus giving out call outs? I think blue lotus might be... He's giving fake call outs, guys. Is that what he's doing? He might be giving fake call outs to try and throw him off the scent. If, if, Fortis don't have a good kill count, that could work. I've seen some all kinds of crazy things done like with fake call-outs and playing dead. and sometimes it, sometimes it pans off, sometimes it doesn't. Take some shots into that corner. He does have bullets to spare now. Push, 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 push. 
Yeah, he's using he's using fake call out. Try and throw him off. But it's all gonna come down to if they have if they have a correct kill count. If they have the correct kill count, they'll probably just laugh at themselves right now. But if they don't, if they don't have the correct kill count, it really might be throwing them off on where the push is coming from. We sniffer did just try to throw a uh, flash over the building, didn't quite make it. Now we're down to a minute. Options are slim at this point on what he's going to do to make this in there. I mean, Tippix calling stuff in, so Blue Lotus knows that Tippix is in there for sure. He's got 45 seconds to make a decision on what he's going to do. He's got to do something. The last thing you want to do is end this on a. Yep, and there it is. Tippic gets the kill. Which we kind of figured was going to happen. Point on the board for the away team, Fortas. Good job. Wow. Um, I personally think... I personally think... That, um, that Blue Lotus should have rotated to the north there. That's probably what I would have done with four minutes on the clock. He had all the time to get to North Stairs and he had some utility, you know, and, and try and make the push down here. Or, or, or maybe the, um, the utility stairs, you know what I'm saying? Those come up the utility tunnel and come in from this angle. Whoops, that's that camera. They're coming from this angle. I think the, the push that he, that he made was the push they were expecting. I think he needed to just change that. Like you said, Hitting up here in the casters bar, it's easy to make judgment. Being on the field where the sound is different, um, the adrenaline's pumping, you know, your heart's beating, it's a different story. You know, you, you, I don't know about you guys, but if anybody's in the chat right now that's uh, on the field play this competitively, um, I've made the call. It's like, yeah, this is going to work, and I do it. It's like, it's like thinking, that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. But hey, who cares, because we're going in for another round. Round three. And uh, we're still upstairs. Another one of my favorite objectives, downstairs. <laughs> okay, and we've got uh, Clinton holding south stairs. We've got a push coming out. Looks like Lotus is taking Corn Alley with three. Brondi taking the corner on the horseshoe entrance. And Daddy starting taking the full horseshoe entrance. Uh, it looks like we did not get north stairs objective sorry north stairs um spawn for our typic nothing but blue sniffer and, and towel towel we can call him owl all the time is it supposed to be towel yeah hmm. i'm making the horseshoe push right now and we'll probably make contact with spartan will be the first contact here trying to get eyes up the top of those stairs Spartan is pushed down to that alcove. D4 comes out, does not make contact. A nice hand signals there from Tao, the glue sniffer, so no audio cues being pulled out. Good use of audio, oh, sorry, visuals. Smoking out that corner, giving, giving cues to Daddy Spartan that there are people coming through the horseshoe. Nice kill there from Tao. Clearing out the horseshoe. Nice smoke up here. And Blondie is still sitting in the back there. Yep, Blondie's sitting in the back. Nice nade thrown on the corner just in case. And it looks like we do have a push coming through Porn Alley. Oh, shots coming out from Blondie, but does get taken down by Glue Sniffer making that corner push. Uh, special Ops taking down Lotus, leaving only two left to defend. And you can cap this. You can you can cap this on this side of the fence from the Porn Alley push. Are they going to attempt it? Are they going to attempt the tap? Tippic is in. Capping right now. Tablet is out in the smoke. That's a 203 smoke. That's there forever. The cap comes out. Nice play from Fortis. Give him two points. Nice job. Excellent play there from Fortis. Um, just clearing, 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 pushing, clearing, clearing, pushing. Using the 203 smoke uh, on the objective. Capping from that side of the fence. It was very well done. And it looks like uh, I didn't get the replay in. 
of the cap, unfortunately. Probably, uh, I must not have pressed the button in time to get that replay in. Sorry. Ah, hey, but we did get uh, we did get shots on block. Uh, we're going to flip block. Waters is going to defend this now with bad company coming in for the back. Let's see if they get more stairs. North stairs. If they get more stairs, uh, North stairs. If they get more stairs for this one right here, then it's going to be tough. Tough, tough, tough. Because um, it's quick and dirty. And the, if you make the push from North stairs, which you bring it down this alley right here, then you're here. You get to if they if the defense make a push uh, at the same time as you're pushing from North stairs, you get to this corner at virtually the same time. So if they have an aggressive defender running, you'll get to here at the same time as the offense will get. So this is where the the first the, the first engagement you have if bad company get. Okay. Interesting. So we might just take a quick move. I'd like to start off with uh, our defense team to find out where they're going. We might be flipping over to the offense really quick. Because if you get more stairs, that's what's going Everybody enjoying the coverage so far. My first, uh, my first cast back after being gone for a few weeks. So I'm excited to get back in the chair. Hopefully, we'll get some good coverage for you. I think some uh, good uh, cast footage, good commentary, all that good stuff. Oh, oh, nope, no faking me beeps this time. Here we go. Round four. That way. Right? Round four. Round four. Round four. That was a beautiful cap there. I um. I can't believe you missed that on the replay. What a bummer. Pistol play. I'd like to turn the night vision on, guys, but if I forget to turn it off, it's going to really mess up the next map. So I'm hoping it's not too awful dark for you guys. Uh, we got north stairs, guys. We got north stairs. Here it comes. And it looks like Tippic decided not to... Um, not to get the guys to make that initial push, that bash push. So now it looks like Spartan and Blondie have control of Horseshoe Alley right now. With uh, like Duke and Blue trying to push Pawn Alley. I didn't have time to see if there was any C4 thrown down. North Stairs Spawn is aggressively fast. It looks like we have one making the South Stair push. Is that right? Yes, we do. Who is this down? Foul stairs. Clintus is making our foul stairs. So we've got the three different locations being being prodded at. So that could be interesting. Oh, but we do have somebody watching foul stairs pretty intensely. That would be glue sniffer. Spartan is making his way slowly but surely up to the corner here. We've got nobody in the corner to worry about, but they don't know that. But they do have special ops here worry about oh, yeah c4 right there guys c4 right here on the corner so that's gonna be horrible because that c4 on the corner will take anybody peeking that corner out let's see if uh if they get caught but blondie's probably gonna get caught by this c4 unfortunately i think spark far enough away glue sniffer takes down clinton from that south stair push they're hearing the footsteps but they haven't punched the c4 yet uh, smoke, which isn't going to help my vision at all so much. Let's just move away from that smoke. Oh, that grenade's going to take the C4. And it unfortunately takes the C4 and nobody with it. Oh, nice shots there from Spartan onto Electric. But Spartan does go down in a trade. That was a flick shot onto, uh, onto Electric. And uh, also, Blondie goes down on that push too. That leaves us just two guys that were in Horseshoe Alley. Trying to make the push. Nice shots there on the Tippic from Blue Lotus. But now Powell's going to get that refrag. But does this go down on a trade? Duke taking him out. And making sure. Nice nade placements. But unfortunately, nobody left there. 
Duke needs to probably rotate out of this if being smart. I think this is a bad push. Bad push! We're a one on three, so it's not going to go well. Unfortunately for uh, Bad Company, this might be the end of the map, which means we go a map three decider. Nice shot there by Mello, putting it on a one on two. Flare thrown in for deception. Oh, nice, nice flash. That definitely caught Mello. Definitely caught Mello. He's jammed into the wall, hoping to stay alive, and he does. Flash is cleared. That was a beautiful flash placement there from uh, Special Arm. Will he get shots on the glue? Will he get him? Nope. Uh, glue Sniffer clears it up and puts a final point on the board for our man. There it is. Last point on the board for Fortis. Evening things up, people. Evening things up. So we got... Uh, was it 4-2? Four 4-2 two? Four two on map 1. 4-1 uh, on map 2. And now we're going to Q1. That's right, we're off to quarantine, guys. And looks like we're not re-hosting. I don't know if we're supposed to be in that, but hey, I like it. Quarantine map 3, ladies and gentlemen. Quarantine map 3. It's 19 years ago. Two. So, first objective is in crash building. Inside crash building, downstairs, is a nasty objective. Um, let me get you down to the point. A, it's a beautiful map, I'd show you around it. B, I'd like to show you and potentially. And welcome to quarantine. So, um, objective one. This nasty little one down here, see this? It's a brute. So, of course, you can cap inside this room. You cap upstairs, guys. You get up in here, you're capping all day long upstairs. Upstairs, cap. Um, you can cap outside. Right, I said it. You can cap outside as well. Um, so, outside, upstairs, in the building. So many capping options available on this, this objective. It is a bear to defend um, against the right thing. Um, if, if there's a smoke, like, oh, gosh. Got the, if there's a 203 smoke bashed in here, those 203 smokes last for a lifetime, it feels like. Um, you're smoking out the inside, the outside. It's going to bellow upstairs a little bit as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This this could be an interesting one. Quarantine is a fun map, but this is a nasty, dirty objective. Oh. Tells me all about your Friday, guys. Let's see if I can catch up with any kind of chat happening here. Nope, oh, never mind. Going into round one. <laughs> no catching up because round one. Round one, press the button. Round one. Okay, let's go and find out what's going on with our defense first. Okay, so here comes our defense. Warning a little way from the objective, crashing in right now. Let's take a high line. Basically, find out what it looks like. Tipix taking a north approach. And gosh, look at this push out. That's aggressive. With Glue Sniffer and Special Ops taking an aggressive south push. And we're gonna have we're gonna have a battle here already. Going on with Daddy Spartan. It's already Gosh, that's an aggressive push out for a for a defense. Spartan is going to come head to head with somebody. Glue Sniffer, look at him, he's already in. Glue Sniffer is in the darn hospital. Glue Sniffer. Huh? Well, Blondie's having conversations with, with Tippic, and it's not Tippic, it's Glue. Hey, <laughs> just let her know. Blondie takes down Electric. Nice shooting there. We missed that, fortunately. 
Who sniffed for taking down Daddy Spartan? Uh, which I think he, he was rotating out of the tank courtyard. And all of a sudden, we're a, a four on four. This is still anybody's game. Anybody's game. Early, early days. Epic taking down Lotus. Blondie just, just wants to be friends. Blondie just wants to be friends. She's gonna gonna try and clear him out. Not sure how this is gonna work out. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Oh, I'm trained on the trap shot. Oh my god, I gotta play that again. <laughs> Oh, my word. Yep, that didn't end well for either of them. But hey, welcome onward. <laughs> Let's get back to the game, shall we? It looks like Duke is the last man standing. Mellow all on his own. Let's, uh, let's follow up, my gosh. Nice chop shot there by Glue Sniffer, but unfortunately it was a trade. Uh, Blondie was able to snap up to him as he came down on top of her. That doesn't sound like it's cool, does it? Um, let's get back to Duke. <laughs> a one on three. This is going to be a tough uphill struggle battle here for Duke Mello right now. And then we're going to get our predictions all paid out for the previous map won by the fabulous Corpus. It's been a great match so far. This is the deciding map right here. Tippik's going to get the uh, eye from white car there, perhaps. Oh, nope. He's been spotted by Duke. Unfortunately, <laughs> did you see that? Duke's like, what just happened? What just happened? He shrugged. He shrugged in VR. People that aren't aware, this is a VR game. These people are actually playing this in real life, standing here, holding a, a virtual gun in their hands, and he just shrugged. Like, how did I miss those shots? <laughs> The Duke rotating away from there, which is the best thing. Tippik's rotated out of his spot, too, because uh, he obviously knows that he's been called out there. Not too sure what Duke is shooting at, but there's nobody there. Uh, looks like Al, Al is, um, is trying to just hold him back. Two minutes and 12 seconds left on the clock. Whoops. Going back to the same spot where he spotted Epic earlier. Tippic rather earlier. Nothing there. They're, they're, I think they're just shooting right now just to use the final player. If they've got the kill count right, they know there's only one guy. All they have to do is hold it tight and uh, they win the round. Nice shots there on the Tippic. Almost gets shots on the towel as well. Um, what, what's this? Hands up? No, no bullets? Is that what we're, is that, is that where we're going with this? Guns on the floor, looking for other guns. He's, he's, he's trying to find other weapons. Oh, God! <laughs> Putting smoke down where he can pick up other weapons, because he's out of ammo in his primary right now. And he's got another gun. Everything's fine. Everything's fine here. We're okay here. We've got smoke. We've got gun bullets. Tippic does get revived. That was just a down, unfortunately. And after all of that, after all of that, Duke, all that smoke, all of that hunting, you're dead. <laughs> Good try, though, Blue. Good try. Um, Fortis, point, point on the ball for Fortis. <laughs> that was a fun round. Um, I think that drop shot was probably the, the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. That was fun. Oh, I love, I love doing this. Uh, while we're here, let's get those darn uh, predictions paid out for last time. Get them going. Five on that. Uh, choose prediction for this one, Matt. Let's get prediction up for Matt 3, shall we? Get that rocking and rolling. Matt 3 prediction. Who's going to take Matt 3 and get the chance? Will it be bad? Will it be bad? Who is going to take map three, guys? Get your channel points in. Use them while you got them. Get 
get that, huh? Uh, uh, Wolfie, I'm just trying to catch up with some of the chat right here while I'm waiting. I agree. I much prefer quarantine over downfall as well. I absolutely despise downfall. It's a, don't get me wrong, it is a beautiful map. And I enjoy playing it for funsies. I just, otherwise, no. Downfall is like downfall. Right, let's play this week. Banning downfall. Um, quarantine is a beautiful looking map and it plays out much better than downfall. I think. Personally, personally, personally. Yeah. Let's go back down, shall we? Let's go down for... I don't even know what round we Round two, round two, round two. Round two, map three. Decider. Three, Decider. Let's see what our defense boys are going to do. Uh, yep, Duke Mello just said he'll never throw his pistol away again. And that's why, guys. As much as pistols suck, it's better to have a pistol that sucks than to have no gun whatsoever. So, I understand that why league players throw their pistol away so they don't accidentally grab it when they don't want to grab it. Looks like they're staying in tight. Uh, Danny Spartan on second floor of, uh, of uh, Impact Building here with Duke on objective, Blondie back of objective, and it looks like Blue Spartan on white car there in the north. Let's now jump over and take a look what's going on with our boys on the offense! Glue Sniffer and uh, Tao sliding in together over down here on the back side. Looks like they're uh, hospital parking garage right now. Looks like uh, they're going to push in through hospital. Ground floor. Try and get some intel from over here. Else, uh, I, I never throw my pistol away. However, I have shot a teammate when I was trying to revive them. It, it happened. No, it was the uh, it was a league match. But I have shot a team member with my pistol thinking they had a syringe. So I do understand why people get Ooh, blue. Blue load is taken down. Tick towel and blue sniff have got it under control over here. Let's just uh take a look and see what Tippet's doing over here. Fourth side. Gunshots coming out, trying to take down blue man over there. Blue. Oh, blue and Tippet are in it. That made unfortunately little short. Nice spot there from Ticket in between the uh, the trailer and the semi truck itself. A beautiful little angle. Didn't land the shots unfortunately. Blue still sitting there. Not too sure if anything landed where he may need to re a little bit. Clint taking down Tau. Tipic trying to make that push. Special Ops on the the south side of Tipic up by the AC rooftop. Trying to just peek over the mound here. I'm not too sure if that flash, I don't think that flash caught Tippic. No, it did not. Tippic goes down to Blue Lotus on the north side by the semi truck. A uh, special check in his tablet just to see what happened over there. Like smoke coming out to try and cover his approach or retreat. Blue Sniffer taking down Clintus. And we are two on four. All Bad Company needs to do is hold this tight and let, uh, let the last two Fordis guys come to them. And they could wrap this out uh, this round up and i think maybe who was that there i think blondie may have spotted some movement because i see a laser like train over special ops okay thank you see if this push is going to work out nice cover down here somebody with this wall oh we're picking up all the comms from center road here Special ops is danger close, guys. Danger close. I'm gonna go down. Now, if he can be super quiet, again, remember, you can cap on the outside of this wall. If special ops crawls in here, if he's remembered the tablet, if he crawls in here, like dead quiet, and caps on the four remaining bad company guys, this would be the epic cap of the season. But he's gonna have to start crawling. He's got the time to do this. He needs to crawl in there. Tablet out. Crawl in there, tablet out, so you're making all your noise from this far away. I think he's already made the noise, and I think... Yep. Okay, opportunity's done. Now, Duke's probably calling out there is somebody in fuselage right now. It looks like Blondie is taking a quick gander down fuselage down on the left. 
blue load is pushing in. Unfortunately, special up the opportunity to get in there. He's looking at the tablet right now. But I think his opportunity to do this is probably over. He's going to do it. He's going to have to be quiet. He's not being quiet. Blue Sniffer coming in the backside. I think Blue Sniffer is going to, unfortunately, be absolutely nuked by Spartan there from second story. I don't want to leave this spot because I feel like this is where the last stand is going to happen. Blind firing coming from Duke there. Minute 13 on the clock. Nice shots from Special Ops getting that kill. Now it's a matter of can he just down him he's making a push up making the push up can he can he get in there quietly duke's not sure if there's anybody here spartan's gonna pop and kill him nice shooting there from spartan getting the kill on on special just downing him unfortunately nice push out there spartan we'll even glue sniffer last man standing over here for fortis right now uh, one on two and a half uh, Blue's getting all the callouts right now. Blue's got great oversight right now. Beanie's just down and exactly where where Blue Sniffer is, so they can pretty much get him called out. It looks like Blue Sniffer's going for the same push. Might not be the greatest thing. Spartan could just pop and, and, and finish this off right now with, the, with, with one other guy still standing. There it is. Nice clean up there at the end. Clean it up. Put a point on the board. Bad company. Even in it up. Even in it up. Wow. Wow. I um, honestly do think that we could have had, if Special Ops had made that, that crawl in here from the fuselage. Where was he at? He's like back here. In the if he started that crawl, if he, if he got here, check the tablet and memorize the code. Hey, don't get me wrong. I can't memorize three numbers, let alone seven. So, hey. Yeah, that's good. That's good. If he'd memorized the code, if he's a code memorizing kind of guy, and crawled pretty much from here, crawled in, crawled, 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 no sound, no sound, crawled, 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 he's got the tablet in his hand, no sound, crawled, 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 to here, no sound, because he's already got the tablet in his hand. I think that could have happened, I think that could have happened, but again, hey, hey, I'm up here, I'm in the Casper's booth. I can say whatever I want, whether it makes sense or not. But, um, again, different when you're on the field. Different point of view when you're on the field. It, everything is so different. It sounds different. Good effort, though. Good effort. Where are we going next? Where are we going next? Get up in the air and let us go over to... Oops, that's fine. This is a bear. This one's a bear, guys. They're in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. Let's find out what they're going to do. Round three. Let's jump in with the Fortis crew. This one's a bear to count. This is this is definitely a, a defensive objective. Uh, this is a nice spot. I think where Glue's about to go. This is a nice spot here. Got some nice angles from this window. Um, we've got like a huge push out coming from Electric and uh, Towel. Gunfire already coming in from the likes of Daddy Spartan taking out Tipic. Team captain for Fortis oh, is already down. Oh, that, that special ops uh, staircase spot in the hospital right there is a nasty spot. It's a nasty spot. It's at a very thin angle of this road, but you ain't making it across the road. But I think he just rotated out of there. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. He's looking down into the hospital. Should I go? I'll just stay here. Bellow's just going to stay. But Spartan's going to make a large road. Look at the map and find out what I've got. We've got one. One lone ranger pushing north on a rotation all the way around the north over to the east. I wonder who that is. Take a look. Oh, hang on. Did we lose a member for Bad Company? Looks like we may have a drop on Bad Company. 
Who is that all the way over in the north? That's Blondie. Blondie, the Lone Ranger, all the way over here. That's a money truck. He's going to try doing the pinch from the backside on the north, while the rest of the team are on the south west side of the map. He's making a full rotation around the outskirts of the map, so she doesn't have to worry too awful much about, unless there's a flanker that she has to worry about, but uh, otherwise she's not going to have to worry too awful much about um, contact until she gets all the way to the south east corner, where she's working her way to right now, working her way to the past the motel, crossing the street, getting over there. She may have to worry about uh, towel over there in the dunes. We have probably first contact. Trying to get some angles through the windows. This is, this is great stuff right here. Uh, trying to get some angles through these windows. Just checking some things through these windows from back to front of the motel. That's some, that's some great uh, map knowledge and gameplay there on angles. Nice job, Blondie. Let's, uh, let's jump back over to, uh, to Spartan. Find out what's going on on the bush over here with Mello. They finally made it over. They rotated all the way over to the west and came around on the west side to get into this uh, motel. So Lotus is already in the, in the gas station. Oh, Blondie does go down on that east rotation, unfortunately, uh, from electric. So I thought Tao was going to uh, get that. Uh, who is rocking the four times here? Ooh, Ross is there. Not too sure if... Nice shooting there from Blue on the glue sniffer. And we're a three on three. Did just get an actual call out. And uh, we've got a good kill call out there from Blue Lotus. We definitely had a drop from Bad Company, unfortunately. Flash out the corner. But this is the push coming from the west side of the map right now. Looks like a special ops is on the roof. Actually on the roof. So he's going to have angles down onto the OBJ and into the... into the... Uh, parking garage. And he's checking the windows for the parking garage right now, the hospital parking yeah, garage there. Three-man team pushing together. Blue trying to get some comms back from other players. Just to see if he can uh, bait them out a little bit. Just trying to bait out Special Ops upstairs. Special Ops is having none of it. Not even responding. Daddy Spartan is making the push up to the corner. I think that's going to be the next, uh, next encounter as on this corner here. Uh, uh, special Ops is on the rooftop. Electric is going to be the one to worry about here. There's Electric shooting Spartan in the back of the head. And Special Ops takes down Duke Mello. Blue takes down Special and the instant refrag off the roof. Leaving Blue last man standing for bad company. Trying to make that push in on his lonesome, and it's a one on two. He's going to see if he can pick up some utility from his dead compadre right here. Can Blue make his dreams come true? Is he going to be able to make this push? He's got one up in the dunes to worry about, and he's got one. Nobody's on objective, but they do have good sight on objective. He's going to play that window. He does play that window. Beautiful. I was just thinking that as I was coming up the stairs. Plays that window, takes the dunes out of out of action. He's probably thinking the last man's on objective. He's about to get shot in the back by electric, though. He has no idea. Hang on. Hang on. Is he behind the... Did he... What? What? Get behind that car. No! Electric does get the shot off on Blue. If Blue had gotten behind that car instantly, he may have been able to get a cap off. Borders gets a win. Wow. That was, that was a great round. What a round, guys! 
God. Bullets for bullets, shot for shot, bodies for bodies. This is going really well. We've been some one-on-ones, some two-on-ones. Um, it's been a great match. I'm so happy I picked this up. So happy I picked it up. Um, it definitely hasn't been a wash by either team. Um, I think a lot of people thought this was Fortis's match. Uh, mistaken. Bad Company have bought their double-A game. Triple-A game for this one. Um, Pittman Wire, Pittman Wire. Um, this, this, this is a deciding map. This is map three deciding. This could go either way. Fortis right now are leading the charge to one um, boundary. But in the first four, Bad Company come in and uh, tap around. They win this defense round, cap around, it's all over. But saying that, if uh, Fortis cap this round, the bad company have to make sure that this doesn't get capped on. I know what's going to happen. Yeah. Round four. Let's find out what's going on for these guys. Spartan is, is already running into the spawn blocker. It wants to go. Wants to, let's go. And it looks like we have a northeast spawn. Oh my gosh, look at these guys pushed out. Blondie's the only one by the objective right now. Interesting. Interesting. Um, some very meta locations. Duke was in one spot. Uh, it looks like uh, Blue Lotus has taken the other. Interesting. Let's, uh, let's go over special ops right now and see. We've got a north push coming from him. Is he on his lonesome? It looks like we've got a single man going north push right now, with the rest of the team taking a uh, taking more of a middle approach, middle map approach to this objective. Trying to get over to the south. Daddy's pushed out. Look at this. Oh, ooh, he's been spotted. Oh no, that was Duke, not Daddy. Glue Sniffer taking uh, Duke down. Sorry, I thought it was Daddy pushed out there, but it was not. It was Duke digging. Being taken down by Glue Sniffer. Oh no, shots coming out from, from Blue Lotus. Giving away his location. Is that a nade? That's a nade, but oh, no, that was a flash. Doesn't catch him. Oh, and the trade comes out with Blue. No, I take that Blue. Blue takes down uh, takedowns one, and uh, Blondie takes down the refrag instantly. We're a three on four in favor of Fortis right now. Wow, that was kind of chaos there for a second, guys. I'm not going to lie. With all that trading going on over there, I don't think Glue knows 100% that that's cleared out in the dunes. He's not He's not 100% certain in himself that the dunes has been cleared. It's either holding down the garage here. I think it's electric. They know kind of electric spot here in the tank courtyard. One in the glue spot. Good call outs coming out from electric right there. Calling out uh, the. Is that Blondie sitting over there? Calling out Blondie in the uh, hospital parking garage. Barton has got the elevated location on top of the uh, hospital right now. Uh, looks like he's rotated out of that though. I thought that's where he was going to get the kill onto Electric. Electric gets Blondie out of that parking garage. Tippic takes down Clinton. Leaving Spartan last man standing with four Fortis guys. Four of them. Like pinchering around. Look at this right now on the overhead map. Just pinchering around right now. From all angles. Spartan is going to struggle to defend this. Uh, I think he's he's in a decent defense spot from here. He's going to hear anybody coming in behind him. Nice shooting there from Spartan on that quick peek. Spartan has just got that quick peek down to an absolute science. Absolute science. Oh, and he gets another. Take glue stiff out, bringing it to a one on two. Spartan do him. Work, guys, do work. Oh, but unfortunately, Tippic says not today, Mr. Spartan. Take Spartan out, finishing that round off. Put another point on the board. Board it one step closer. 
you know, I, I thought maybe, just maybe, Barton could make shot his way out of that mess, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't happening. Pippick finishing off that round for a third point for 40 uh, with a 3 1 lead for Matt B. Tyler. Um, interesting. They needed, Bad Company needed that win. Bad. Um, they needed that win to be able to you know, maybe lock this down on a cap on this round. If they won the last round, cap this round. Uh, we would be sitting pretty right now for that company, but that's not going to happen. Portis is um, picking up the pace and uh, putting in the work. Points on the board. Where are we going next? Tank courtyard, guys. I actually enjoy this pushing. Tank courtyard is kind of a little open. A little open, but it is, it's a fun push to make from uh, tank. Should be interesting. Um, underground is kind of dangerous on this one as well. Let's go! Let's go! Round of five. Let's uh, check in with our hardest defenders. I'm just checking the, the numbers right now to find out where they're at. Both teams have done phenomenal during this whole series. Phenomenal. Electric pushing out. Ooh, electric pushing out into the north side there. It looks like Special is going underground. We were just discussing. Tippex heading straight for the objective. Glue Sniff is going to the south. It's some serious push outs. They're an aggressive defense team. Uh, and it looks like yeah, Special's underground. And uh, Tau is taking that north corner. Gunshots coming out in Spartan's location. It uh, looks like Smartan and Juka are teaming up again here in the south. Let's see what kind of push they can make. Nothing landing, but... Ooh, nope, nope, that definitely didn't land. And let's just take a look at that north push as well and find out who's pushing north. Blondie. Blondie is a... Uh, oh, no, she is not a Lonesome Warrior. Quintus is, is on the roll in the north with Blondie right now. They're going to try and push this north wall all the way around to, I'm guessing, Motel. That's probably where they're off to. And find out where Blue is. Blue is already over there. Up by White Car on the northwest corner. Probably going to hook up with Blondie and, uh, and Quintus over by Motel area. Lots of lasers bouncing over here from Tippic. Tippic actually on the... Holy cow, Tippix pushed out. He's actually on the AC rooftop. Look at that. Uh, but he missed that entire cross from everybody. Everybody's made it past Tippix. So his angle right now is null and void. It's not going to make a difference. He's going to need to worry about what's going on behind him at this point. Let's, uh, let's bounce back over to... Uh, to... Oh, just as Glue Sniffer puts bullets in Duke's head. Nice headshot, Glue. Up there just in time for the bullets. Uh, that means that Spark knows there's somebody on the roof. Or does he? Spark in the ground floor of the hospital. Snoo sniffer on the roof. Daddy's trying to bait him out. Snoo sniffer. Oh, oh gosh. Seconds. The timing is incredible. Seconds. Right there. Glue sniffer almost had him. Glue sniffer's coming down the outside of the building on the east side of the hospital trying to hunt there's a hunt going on right now blue sniffer is hunting daddy spark lasers bouncing over here from special ops as well blondie taking down special ops so don't need to worry about that anymore and they're in the back side blondie are in the back side of the mall Oh, nice shot there on the Blondie. And takes out Clintus. That push is dead, dead, dead. Tippic finishing that off, but does. Does go down in the interim period, but it does finish off the glue and uh, and Spartan trade, leaving, unfortunately, Blue Lotus. The last man over here on the uh, on the AC rooftop. Fuck, why am I always the one, last one fucking left? Uh, Blue's a little upset. Last man standing. Seems to be the, uh, happening to a lot lately. This is a little upset about it. Hey, I get it. Happens to me too, Blue. But it's going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine now. 
you got this. We believe in you. We're going to follow you around like lap dogs, and you're going to do amazing things. <laughs> He's so up there. This could be final round, guys. It's a one-on-one -on -one with two minutes and 14 seconds on the clock. Blue Lotus versus the one that only, the Tiowl. Tiowl. I've been calling him Owl this entire time, but it's supposed to, I think it's supposed to be Owl. Uh, Blue Lotus is, is in fact, quite a little way away from the objective. He's still very upset about it all. Very upset. It's going to be a matter of who gets shots off first, to be honest with you, and, and knowing roughly where you're... Okay, he's, he's at objective. He's at objective. He's at objective. Let's just let's find out. Oh, he's shooting. He's shooting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Towel's got this line locked down like a hero. Oh, flash. I don't think that caught him. I don't think that caught him. Blue just doesn't know where to go. Oh, 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 he's got the corner, he's got the corner, he knows he's down. Blue freaking clutches it. Awesome work, Blue. Oh, my word. Blue clutches that. Incredible. Putting a point on the board for bad company. Making sure they don't lose this map. Wow. Nice job, Blue Lotus. And you were upset. And you were upset. Why are we not at the scoreboard? Why are we not at the scoreboard? Take me to the scoreboard. Oh, hang on, guys. Can we go to the scoreboard now, please? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Technical problems. We got it figured out. Wow. Uh, let's get the drag at that point. Yep. Yep. Two, three. Two, three. That was an impressive end to, the, to that round. What round are we on? That was round five. Are we going to go to round seven decider on map three? I hope so. I love round seven deciders. It's nail biting right now, guys. What? What a clutch. What a clutch there from Blue. Blue Lotus clutch in that round. Nice job. Well done. Now, uh -huh. bad company. What are we going to do here, guys? You need to defend this objective to stay in the game. Otherwise, four is running away with the win. So, wonder what's going through team captains' minds right now. Um, as a defensive team captain, I'd be telling people don't get peaky, um, hold angles, make sure there's no cap. Well, your cap doesn't matter at this point. Make sure you're holding angles. Don't let them anywhere near the place. Don't get pushy. And as a defensive team, I'd be telling. Sorry, an offensive team, I'd be saying the same thing. Get kills. Don't worry about cats. Get kills. Let's go down and find out. Six. Here we go. What's on their mind? I bet your blues adrenaline is pumping right now. Okay, we're getting a push. Okay, they're taking their lines. Let's... Oh, Special Ops already takes Blue out. The last man standing on that final clutch round is dead and out. Nice shots there all the way down the line. Look at that from Special Ops all the way down the road there. Gets those shots. Oh, no. Tippic takes out Daddy Spartan. Number one shooter for the entire series. Tower takes down Clintus. And it's falling apart quick. Duke Nukem takes down Glue Sniffer. Electric takes down Duke on an instant refrag. And all of a sudden, we're one man left on the defense. Oh no! Oh no, it's absolutely fallen apart for bad company on this round, unfortunately, and this is the pinnacle round. They know who that last guy is. Tipping down to electric? What's going on on this round? Clintus is just down, but there's nobody's getting that revive. Nobody's getting that revive at all. Um, Towel's got overwatch of the objective area. Blondie is nowhere near the objective area, and, and if she even tries to make the cross, she's dead. I think they have an idea that she's there. If they have an idea that she's even... I think she may have heard some of those comms from up on the roof. I don't think she knows she's on her own. We're like, we're like what, a minute and a half? Not even. A minute, 30 seconds maybe, into the round, and most of the team's dead. 
That was incredibly quick. Okay, that's one, but unfortunately, they now know she's here. The refrag could come in. The frag... Sorry, the um, the cap could happen right behind her. She's not careful. This is this is a terrible place to be right now. One on three. One on three is a little better than it was like a couple of seconds ago. Uh, but Tippic, I think, knows she, exactly where she is by this APC. And we have Tower up on the roof. Got great overwatch. Not looking over here quite yet, but he, he can see all of this from the the rooftop of the, the hospital. Oh, Blondie might get the kill. He gets a kill on a Tippic. Nice job, Blondie. She could clutch this, guys. She could clutch this. One on two. Can Blondie make it happen? They know that she's there is the downside to this. Uh, she doesn't have to worry about her backside as much, but again, I'm up in the sky. I see all. Uh, Blondie knows nothing. She's rotating to a better position, perhaps a little more cover, but she's, she's going further away from the objective. Special Ops is, is slowly making his way in. And Towel has got has got Overwatch from the the rooftop there. Overwatch. Oh, and here comes the shots. Unfortunately, Towel takes his shots into Blondie, finishing the round, finishing the match, finishing the series. Four one. Final map. Whoa! What a series, guys! What a series! Um. That, that, that was impressive series to pick up. I am super stoked I picked that up. Just bring this down here so I can see what's going on. Super stoked I picked that up. Wow. Final scores, guys. What's that? Four, five, seven, seven, eight. I mean, it's close. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Bournes takes the win by the skin of their teeth they take the win it's so super close lots of one-on-ones through that entire series on all maps guys that wasn't a whitewash from either team that was awesome that was awesome story. um yeah seven eight in favor of orders for the win uh great job both teams i'm not too sure if i picked up the highlight reel for you guys um i hope i did but let's uh, let's take a look and see what we picked up on some replay shall we Let's go to the highlight reel. Let's go to the highlight reel and find out. Boom. Let's go. Okay. Um, you know, one thing I need to turn on. Just, turn Just down, special arts. Comes in for the highlight. Finish him off with the tar 21. What a play there by Danny Spark. Wow. Beautiful C4 play there. Let's bait it. Oh, 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 oh. That flash, unfortunately. Did it catch him? We just popped out of the building. What? Not shot there by Blue Sniffer. Oh. Finishing up the round, putting another point on the board for Fortes. Well done. Getting here in cap real quick before these guys are crashing back. Here they come. They're crashing back. And he's capping right oh. now. Nothing's being punched in great by Spartan. He did get back in there and gets the cap. Excellent work, Spartan. Getting the job done in the face as he's pushing into the back of the building. Take a look at these and share. And Blue takes him out. And we have one tackle left. That's Blue Sniffer here. Nice uh, shot there by Blue. I don't know if we're able to there. catch that real quick on the reef. He's straight through the window. Oh yeah, that's a grenade coming back. That didn't uh, that didn't cover. Electra taking out Nuke. Blondie making the push up here. Nice shots there from Blondie taking out special. Well done, Blondie. Excellent work making the push. Bloody Spartan. Spartan's making a rotation around on the backside here. Who's gonna get the shots? Excellent play. Um, nice shooting there by Spartan, fishing up the map. A Danny well, Spartan. Too. Well done. Amazing Special ops here as well. Down. I think on Electric taking down Clintus there on the uh, second corner alley. Nice I grenade. Take Spartan two. down yeah, from he, Special he Ops. Series. That was beautiful. Uh, it, it looks on, like Fortis are really it's crushing this right now. There was no one. We got a five on two. Five on two. The electric holding down the corner alley Spartan. entrance, taking it, down it, Spartan. It Beautiful or, shots uh, there. Excellent. Special Ops is making the push up on the rotation. Like they have five up. They can, they can afford to do it. Nice shot yeah. there from Blue Load. It's clearing out Special Ops. Sure, He's in I'm fact just down there. Let's get the confirm. Nice job. Nice job. Do have a push coming through Porn Alley. Great kill count. Oh, shots coming out from Blondie, but does get taken down by Glue Sniffer, making that corner push. 
Are they going to attempt the tap? Epic is in. Capping right now. Tablet is out in the smoke. That's a 203 smoke. That's there forever. The cap comes out. Nice play from Fortis. Giving them two points. Nice job. Will he get shots on the glue? Will he get him? Nope. Bad glue sniffer clears it up and puts a final point on the board. But our man. Back out. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Oh, I'm trying! I'm a drop shot! Oh my god, I gotta play. Damn, it's gonna happen. Blind firing coming from Duke there. Minute 13 on the clock. Nice shots from Special Ops getting that kill. Now it's a matter of can quietly. Duke's not sure if there's anybody here. Spartan's gonna pop and kill him. Nice shooting there from Spartan. Getting that kill on. On special, just downing him, unfortunately. Nice push out there, Spartan. Uh, I think he's he's in a decent defense spot from here. He's going to hear anybody coming in behind him. Nice shooting there from Spartan on that quick peek. Blue just doesn't know where to go. Oh, 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 he's got the corner, he's got the corner. He knows he's down. Blue freaking clutches it. Awesome work, Blue. Not looking over here quite yet, but he, he can see all of this from the the rooftop of the, the hospital. Oh, Blondie might get the kill. He gets a kill on a tipping. Nice job, Blondie. He could clutch this guy. I see four kill by Daddy Spartan VR. Comes around and gets the other shot in the special ops. Just down special ops. Comes in for the... Finish him off with a tar 21. What a play there by Daddy Spartan. Wow. Let's bait it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a highlight reel, guys. I think we picked up some good spots out. Like I said, I'm going to post them all into the, uh, the Discord. I'm going to click my like, videos. It's been a while. Uh, they'll be there for you to take a look at, share as you like. Well, there were some good clips there, some great kills, some amazing C4 kill there. At the it was one of the first clips. But uh, that is it for this series. What a bloody good round. I am, I'm so glad I got to pick this up. Quick shout out to the sponsors, guys. You got a big shout out to uh, ProTube VR, VR Wear, Armor, uh, VR Cover, uh, Kiwi Design, and of course, DPI Downpour Interactive, which uh, makes the game available. If, uh, if you haven't already seen the entire match, check out the VOD a bit later on. There was, it's a great, great, great match. Close, 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 7-8, seven, 7-0 eight, seven, eight quarters. Great win of quarters. Great job to everybody on the field. And uh, just take a quick look and see what's coming in the future for you guys. Looks like uh, our man, Nightfire, is picking up a match. Another Euro match, I believe, tomorrow with Delta 5 and Link Up Warriors tomorrow at uh, noon Central Standard Time. And that is, what, uh, 10 o'clock Pacific Time, 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Have a take a look at that. Nightfire taking a look at Delta 5 versus Link Up Warriors tomorrow afternoon. So check that out here on VRML1, but as of right now, guys, this is me checking out. I will see you on the flip side and hopefully pick up another one of these soon. Hope you had fun. I had fun casting it. I hope you had fun watching. I will see you on the next one. But until then, stay frosty, my friends.